watch that tree behind, I tell you that there's a little tick. If you, are, if you aim uh, right on the left hand side, you sort of miss it. He didn't want any in, did he? Did anyone see? <laughs> One outside the pool already. He's got a bit disqualification. Two, oh, pull two small way. line off, you're allowed to three. <laughs> you have beaten me. <laughs> you want to say that? He has beaten me. <laughs> you want another go? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, you might add something else about pick up, lay down, cast, pull, some other way of teaching it, some other way of doing it. That, that's all I want to say. Okay, okay. I will show you some tricks. This we pick up and lay down. We had a competition on that, right? The first is you've got to get as much line outside outside of the rod tip on the first pick up and lay down as possible. And uh, we don't really want Hazy to listen to this because we'll just compete against each other. <laughs> I'm sure he does the same thing anyway. So there's my first... Have you been doing this around your travels and stuff? I have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Someone told me that. So here's my nine foot. You've got to watch. Uh, this is where you have to watch Hazy. He sometimes <laughs> slips a little bit out there. <laughs> So, uh, my strip, and I'm about six feet off here, and I'm going to feed that into the lift here. And then I'm going to slip more, just feathering it to slip even more back. So now there's that much line outside the rod tip, the first back cast. I've been set up. <laughs> so here's my first. Nine, I've got another six feet there. That's my first cast. So you've already got, I don't know, whatever that is, 30 feet out. Same thing again. I don't slip it here. I don't actually slip, I don't think, on that first one, but I slip a lot on the second one, on the back cast. Slip again. And now How much do you think you slipped out there? Did I? How much do you think you slipped on the back? Ten? Reckon probably yards or feet? No, feet. No, yeah, feet. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, no, that's yeah, what's the yeah. feeling? Yeah, 12, yeah. 15. Yeah, a lot more. Yeah. And then I've got to get out to the head yeah. on this to be competitive. Yeah. And then we haven't got enough yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the third one's just big, stroke, big. Well, I like to get beyond the head, yeah. and then I can get it perfectly straight, yeah. and then I come yeah. reach right forward. So I've got a really long lift. Yeah. 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 We have this bit of showing you, picking the line up very slowly, put it off nice and smoothly. Sometimes, well, there's another the first pick up I should show you, is if we've got this much line out, we haven't fished this area of water. So we can come back with the rod tip, fish this area of water out, and we're into this position now, into a roll curve. So we can use a roll curve picker. Now, I did this a lot in England. I fished English still waters a lot, and we're in a boat. And we fish the fly right out to our feet. Quite often the fish follows it for a long way. The trick to getting that fish to take is just to change the angle of the fly moves. So you see that angle change there? So our fly is a little corner, and as soon as it takes that corner, a fish takes. The other time it takes is now, when it's stopped. It's fly stationary. Does anybody know how to hook this fish? Roll cast. Backwards. <laughs> okay, no. no, make a roll cast, and that roll cast will cook the fish for you. So that's first. That's the first pickup. Roll cast pickup. Roll into the air. Second one you can. Second interesting pickup is if you're on a river and it's coming very quickly towards you, it's difficult to pick the line out quicker than the river's moving. I don't know if this is a New Zealand pickup, but it's, we call this a spiral lift. It's where you draw a circle, pick the line up. You can also use this, maybe slack in there. How do we pick that up? We can use a roll cast pickup or we can use a spiral. 
Right, what I'm doing there is drawing a circle with a rod tip, get all that line moving, and then making it half fast. Another very nice pickup that I like um, is we call it it's called in England the dynamic lift. Oops, lift, lift. So if you want to pick up a long length of line, like this is a long head, a 64 foot head I think. <coughs> can't, can't get it all out here, I can get more out. I can pick this line up with a little flick. I can make a little wave, it runs all the way down the line. So I've got a long length of line, I can make this little wave, flick, runs down the line. Pretty much like what Peter was doing at the moment, bringing the waterfall. But if I make that flick, I can, dig a, I can get the, I can get that line, that wave, moving all the way down the line, freeze all the line, and then I can come back. And that's got an advantage because my rod tip is here. Now, with a long pickup, but it slowly, my rod tip is here. Yeah. Now, there are times where we might want the rod tip to be here, maybe we want to make a side cast on the back cast, like the Belgian cast you may have heard about. Then we've got the wind coming behind us. We don't want to stick the line up there, we want to stick the loop down low. So if I make this flick, get down, if I make this flick here, I can then come off the side and then over the top. Yeah, yeah, I hadn't ever considered that. We use that to get above grass, you know, to flop it, get jack it up off the grass, come back, you know, comes back hot, you know, comes sort of elevate. Yeah, yeah.